Hey guys, Hector here. Just coming to you today via a 50 fact tag that my wife uh, tagged me on. So today I'm gonna be sharing 50 facts about myself it's just so you guys can get to know me a little better. But first, before you guys freak out, yes, I did shave my beard. Um, it had been a couple years I had that beard and I decided it was time for a change. Um, I hadn't seen my chin for so long. Um, I just wanted to, to switch it up a little bit. But just to uh, answer any of the questions, because I know all the masses out there were wondering uh, what happened uh, to my beard. But anyways, let's get to it. 50 facts about myself. Uh, I'm going to get real. I'm going to get raw. I'm going to get open. Um, so feel free to laugh and uh, enjoy. First fact. I graduated high school at 16 years old um, and it wasn't because I was super smart. It was because my parents couldn't afford daycare so my mama, she made a fake birth certificate. Put me in two years early um, but hey, I adapted, I learned and uh, I was able to, to graduate at 16. So that was that first fact. Second fact, I played NCAA Division II football. Pretty fun time of my life um, being a football player. Uh, fact number three, I have never broken a bone in my body. Um, I say that because that's pretty cool. I've uh, fractured my knee, hairline fractured when I was a little kid, but besides that, um, I've never broken anything in my body. Number four, my big toenails, my big toenails are destroyed from football. Um, if you've ever seen my feet, you'll see my big toenails. They look gnarly. The nails are just discolored and stuff. Why? Because multiple times 300 pound linemen stepped on them with their cleats. I've lost each of those toenails probably about five times so they just never came back the same. So if you ever see my feet, it's not my fault. Number five, I should have died in a rollover accident. Uh, when I was playing football in Yuma my first couple years, I was driving back from a combine. My car rolled over uh, from a tire blowout. Uh, the paramedics said I should have died and all of us should have, but nobody left with a scratch. Number six, I am better at using my left appendages. When it comes to sports, anything that has to do with my left hand or my left foot, I'm just naturally better at. I may not be stronger, but I'm better at it, and I'm a right-hander. Number seven, I can retain about 80% of the things taught to me the first time. Um, I realized this because I double majored in college and I barely read anything. Um, I could just retain most of the information ever given to me. So I knew if I went to class and I paid attention, um, I didn't really have to study, and I really did it. And I took some pretty hard classes. Um, so that's just pretty cool. Number eight, I once power cleaned 335 pounds four times. Um, and I didn't do it one time. That was at my peak strength in college. Uh, that's a pretty cool feat since I'm a short dude and uh, don't weigh too much. Number nine, you guys are gonna love this one. I used to be a break dancer. Yep, I used to break dance battle in junior high. It was a pretty intense time. Number 10, I haven't thrown up since fifth grade. Uh, I view throwing up as a weakness uh, playing sports my whole life. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah, it's been since fifth grade that I've thrown up. Number 11, I do not get seasonal allergies. My wife hates me because of this. Um, I just don't get them. I am thankful, but I don't get seasonal allergies. Number 11, or number 12, my favorite superhero is the Hulk. That's right. Can't kill him. Number 13, I do not like wearing shoes. I'm just, maybe that's just the hippie jeans in me or something, but I just don't like shoes. I'll be barefoot all day if I could. Uh, number 14. I am pretty good at drawing. Uh, my whole life I've uh, drawn and uh, I've just picked up to it really quickly um, and I just had natural talent. It was pretty fun. 15. I used to weigh 250 pounds. Um, that was right after I got married. So if you're about to get married, be careful. Um, but yeah, I've lost 60 pounds since then, so that's pretty cool. Number 16. I love playing sports, but I hate watching them, with the exception of the UFC. I just don't like watching sports. I'd rather go do something physical. Number 17, anytime I see a dog, I believe it will bite me. Let me explain this for a moment. 
I grew up in South Tucson, and if any of you South Tucsoners know, every dog out there is either gonna chase you or bite you. But legitimately, that's what I grew up uh, facing. Every dog either chase me or try to bite me. So uh, I had this, uh, to this day, I still think uh, any new dog that I meet is gonna bite me or chase me. Number 18, growing up, my main pets that I had were snakes. Number 19, I started driving when I was 13 years old. Um, don't really want to share too many details, but you can uh, message me and I'll tell you. Number 19, I have never done any illegal drug. Nope, I haven't. I'm a, a goody goody in, it, in that area. Um, it's kind of weird because most of my friends growing up did lots of them. Uh, 21. My art was featured in Lowrider Arte magazine. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. Uh, it's pretty much a, a, a bunch of art that's like gangster art, but I thought it was pretty cool. I was like in sixth grade. Number 22. My favorite movies are martial arts movies. I don't care about the plot. I don't care about the voiceovers and the s subtitles, as long as there's cool action martial arts things. 23. I once fell on a Choya cactus. Don't need to say anything else after that. Traumatizing. Number 24. I planted a church once. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it would be a good idea. Um, but yeah, that's a funny story. It was probably the best time of my life. Uh, if you want to know, message me. We can talk about it. Number 25. When my hair is grown out, it is curly. Yeah, picture it, drink it in, but it's not going to happen. Number 26, I once killed three quail with one shot. Um, granted, it was a shotgun, but three quail got them, and they were good. Number 27, I was homecoming king in junior college. Why wouldn't I be? Number 28, I love trying new food. Expensive new food. Number 29, I played alto sax in junior high. I know. I know. Uh, number 30, my lineage traces back to one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Pretty proud of that. It's a pretty cool fact. Number 31, I have an eye disease, keratoconus. I wear hard contact lenses because of it. Number 32, I am a firstborn. I'm my mom's favorite. Number 33, I lived in Missouri. That's where I paid the last, uh, played the last two years of college football. Number 34, I like cigars, but I prefer uh, pipes, pipe tobacco. No illegal drugs, remember? Uh, number 34, I tattooed my thigh. Yeah, many years ago I wanted to be a tattoo artist and I thought uh, tattooing myself was a good, good thing to do. It wasn't. Number 35, when I sit, I curl my toes. Um, I don't know what it is. My wife all actually pointed that out to me. Um, I don't know if it's because my big toes are messed up or I just like sitting with my toes going. Number 36, I have gone deep sea fishing in Hawaii. That's pretty fun. Number 37, I have an unusual ability to smell uh, what's in wine. Um, if you guys all know what a sommelier is, they, ha they have the ability to you know, smell what region and you know, where the grapes were grown and what type of grapes. I'm not that good, but I can pick out some pretty good stuff. Um, and uh, my wife pointed that out to me. It's pretty cool. And that leads me into 38. I love wine. There's not much to say else after that. I love it. It's awesome. Number 39. I have been bucked off a donkey. Um, yep, my uncles on, on my dad's side, they were cowboys, and one day thought it was a good idea to bring a wild donkey and have us try to ride it. Um, it those things are very strong. Alright.
let's see, number 40. My middle name is Aurelio. Say it with me. Aurelio. Yeah, I never heard of that name until uh, pretty recently, but uh, that was my grandfather's name on my dad's side. Number 41. I have only experienced being a minority when I lived in Missouri. If you live in Tucson, you're the majority as a Mexican, but that was the first time and it was very weird. And um, the KKK is very real. Number, let's see, where are we at? 42, I owned a 2007 Arlen Ness Victory Jackpot Signature Edition. That was the most amazing bike. Uh, it, was, uh, it was just fun. That was a, a really fun experience. Uh, number 43, in college, I would always get asked in airports if I was a UFC fighter. I don't know what it was. I was about, I had probably about 30 pounds more of muscle and I was just a big old ball of muscle. But anytime I would go to the airport, people would stop me and ask if I was a UFC fighter. Some wanted to take pictures with me. It was kind of, kind of cool, but kind of weird. Uh, number 44, I have seen legitimate miracles. Um, not just hearsay. I've actually seen some pretty crazy stuff. Um, if you're interested, um, message me and we can talk about it. Let's see, number 45. I've had my head shaved since 8th grade. Yep. Number 46, I love Peter Piper pizza. <laughs> the pizza's not really that good. But if you grew up in Tucson, you grew up having birthday parties at Peter Piper pizza. And it's, it's just an emotional connection, but I love that stuff. Number 47. You ready for it? I actually like people. Yep, I like all people, whether you're mean or you're not. Let's see, where am I? Number 48, I have one brother, one half sister, and a stepbrother and a stepsister. Uh, so that means I have a blended family. And it was a fun experience having a blended family. Wouldn't change it for the world. Number 49, I like the smell of gasoline. Don't lie, I know you do too. You do. Number 50, my skin is extremely sensitive to hot and to cold. Um, I took some acne medication when I was younger and ever since then, anytime I get into wow. any type of you know, situation where it's hot or cold, like liquid, like jacuzzi or a pool or something um, it it just feels a lot hotter or a lot colder so that's 50 facts about me um, I did this uh, via my wife uh, so she did 50 facts I'm gonna put uh, her link down below uh, feel free to uh, hear what her 50 facts are thank you guys for paying attention and uh, getting to know me a little bit more uh, feel free to like this video feel free to comment uh, but most of all subscribe I'm going to be having a lot more stuff coming for you, uh, so have a great day, and I will see you soon.